Hey guys, welcome back to Geerdunkers TV and a new video. It's been a while since we uh, reviewed some software and um, I was so lucky uh, to get a preview of the new Studio One Pro 7. This is a DAW that, that I use myself, I've been using it for years. But uh, there are some interesting new features in this new one, which I uh, would like to quickly show you one aspect of, and that's the launcher. Those of you familiar with other DAWs might know this concept uh, that instead of a linear timeline, uh, you will also get a section where you can place loops so you can build your song um, in a more creative uh, alternative way. And since I do a lot of loop based music myself, um, I was very interested in this. I did not want to give up all the nice features of Studio One just to be using this kind of arranging in another DAW. So I'm quite happy they, uh, they put it in here. And um, a nice extra is that um, it also comes with um, the possibility to use the Atom SQ. So this is a pre-release version and I didn't get any uh, additional information about how it works. So I just found it out myself and want to give you a quick view on, um, on how it works. So I'll, I prepared a small uh, song here. Uh, let me load this in. Now this uh, song has eight tracks and the just eight tracks of uh, four bars consisting of several uh, parts. So I'll set it to solo and show you uh, uh, which parts I have here. So we have bass drum, snare, oh, hi-hats, clap, rim shot, some chords, an arpeggio, steps, bass line, and a small melody. So before this version of Studio One, um, you would uh, uh, go and arrange this on the timeline um, or maybe uh, make a scratch pad and work from there. Uh, so the, the scratch pad kind of works, but with the new launcher, uh, there are some, some really nice, interesting uh, live arranging features that you can use. So in the Atom SQ, which when it is connected automatically uh, sees the new Studio One and has an extra menu here under song, which I will go to now. And that's called launcher. And with this, you uh, can uh, toggle the launcher, which looks like this. Uh, toggle the playlist of the launcher. You can stop all clips, which we'll show you in, in a bit. And there are some uh, options here. How to, um, how to work with the several parts of the launcher. So before we uh, start working, um, let's quickly look at what the launcher is. What you have here are um, um, boxes where you can place your parts from the Studio One arranger window in, like this. And then when you play, press play, it will just play vertically what's what's here. So if I just press play here, it will just start playing the bass drum. And you can see that it um, automatically changes to the to the launcher uh, focus. And I, if I want to focus back to the, um, the arranger, I can do that by disabling the, the, the launcher like this. So what I will do now is I will just uh, place all the parts that I had here, like this. And I'm sure there are ways to do this uh, with all parts at once. Maybe just um, grab them like this and then just place them here. So now we have all the, the parts from the song in scene one. I can just play that. And the idea is now you can build your song using these uh, scenes. So for instance, I could um, start with uh, just the bass drum and maybe the bass line. So I'll just um, move all the other parts here out of the way. Uh, let's see if we can do it like this. Just place them over here for a minute. 
and now we just have the baseline and the kick. Now um, I can also delete these um, parts here from the timeline because um, when I, once I've created a setup here that I want to use, I can actually record the whole sequence back into the arranger timeline, which I'll show you in a minute. But for now, let's concentrate on um, how the Atom SQ works with this. Um, let me quickly build up, uh, um, up the song a little bit here. Now we'll just um, maybe add the hi-hats there and um, what was this? The step. Yeah, let's do that. Um, move on to this one and place the arpeggio here. Maybe keep the step running, baseline running etc and um, yeah maybe stop the arpeggio here because it gets a little bit busy and um, add the rest of the drums so that's fine we'll do it like this okay so now we have the melody here um, maybe just use the clap and the snare here and the, uh, the chords. Let's see how that sounds. So that's a nice thing. You can quickly just try whatever works. Okay, so let me put this back here. And um, the Studio One uh, starts with uh, eight scenes, but you can add an, a limited number of, of scenes as well as um, the number of tracks is also unlimited. It just depends on what you have in the arranger here. So I'll just do it like this for now and see how that goes. Now, going back to the Atom, you can see here now that it displays cells and if you look at it more closely you can see that these parts here these uh, these represent the first line that we see here on the screen and the second one represents the second line so by just pressing one of these it will start playing that and we can just press stop all and then choose another one so it moves through the scenes like this and it moves vertically like that so this is a way to just live jam with uh, the launcher and the buttons over here these uh, move this uh, uh, um, rectangle that we have here on the screen to the next uh, line like this and as you can see this changes with it so now I can uh, press this one and it will start uh, the step or it will start the arpeggio so we can press stop all and then it will just uh, re revert back to the default status and if we move to scenes, uh, that this changes slightly. Now we see the, f the first eight scenes here and we can just uh, play entire scenes by just pressing these buttons like this. And then uh, there's another one as well that is called hybrid. And it took me a while to figure out what this does. And um, the scenes will stay here but it also enables one line of, um, of clips that you can um, um, press directly. So I press stop, I will just press this one and it will start playing the bass drum. But if I press, for instance, seven here, it will play the whole scene. 
So this way you can combine uh, these two in a, in a creative way. For instance, I could uh, select this one, which was originally not w running on this scene, and it will just start tagging along. So I think this is quite nice because uh, it um, gives your existing Adam SQ, if you have one, uh, a very a nice set of new features that you can use creatively to uh, to build up your song in a different way than um, than you were used to when you were using the Studio One. Um, maybe quickly I will tell you a little bit about um, how, the, uh, how this works. I'm sure there will be other tutorials and more elaborate explanations about uh, how the launcher works and what all its features are. But I just wanted to show you um, how the Atom SQ works with it. And um, what you also can do is you can, um, when you press uh, record, you can record everything that you do live back into the arranger line. So let me see if I got this correctly, how that works. I'll just um, press, yeah, like this. Now I can change the scene and it all just starts recording that into the timeline. And I can just uh, do it like this. Now we have kind of a hybrid uh, situation. We'll just quickly switch off the launcher and show you what we just recorded. That's all this. Um, and as you can see, it's still grayed out, which means we're actually still using the launcher, but I can uh, change this. For instance, if I would, um, would have recorded a longer uh, set of maybe uh, a live instrument or a singer on one of these um, tracks, then I could uh, have that run linearly while I still operate the rest of the parts using the launcher. So if I press this button, it will just play this from the timeline, the, this track and all the other tracks will still play from the launcher. So you can make a, like a hybrid setup like this. Um, so still uh, play these on the fly uh, uh, using the Atom SQ if you, if you like. And you can uh, still run the timeline. And this way you can just quickly build a song, maybe different uh, variations of the song. And I think it's, it's a very nice way to work with electronic music because um, it's not so static that the, the timeline is. Um, you can just prepare all your, all your, all your clips here in many scenes and just um, build an arrangement with that. And afterwards, once you have uh, arranged it, record it back into the arranger and then maybe make some alterations or start uh, mixing the track, etc., etc. Well, that was it for now. Um, I hope you liked this uh, little video about uh, the launcher features of Studio One using the Atom SQ. And uh, see you next time.